Hello and welcome! My name is Geo, and I am a lab helper here in the WOW Lab. Whoa! And this is the one and only Sparky! Sparky's my super smart friend who always flashes in with great ideas and experiments that make us say, wow! Hello, friends! Welcome to my wow lab! I'm so glad you're here. I have some wonderful surprises planned for all of you today. Oh, where did Sparky go? This happens all the time. Sparky's here one minute and then gone in a flash. Oh well, I could use some extra help in the lab today. <gasps> Will all of you be my lab helpers? Yeah! <gasps> oh yeah! Wonderific, wonderific, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, wait, there are so many fun things we do in our lab. Ooh, I wonder what wonderful experiment Sparky has for us today. When we need to get in touch with Sparky, we clap our hands to the beat of the name, just like this. Sparky! Let's try it now. Sparky! Hello, lab helpers. I have an experiment for you today that is full of wonder. But before you can get started, you have to know the two WOW Lab rules. Rule number one is to be kind. You can be kind by staying quiet when others are talking. If you can be kind, let me hear you say, shh, 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 shh. Lab helpers, rule number two is to be safe. Let me hear you say, be safe. Be, be safe. safe. That's it. You can be safe by staying in your spot and keeping your hands to yourself. Wow, I think you're ready to help Geo with the wonderful experiment I have set up for you. Take it away, Geo! You've got it, Sparky. Oh, one last thing you need to do to be lab helpers like me is put on our safety glasses. Put yours on with me on the count of three. One, two, three! Wowie kazowie! Lab helpers, we are going to be experimenting with one of my most favorite things, bubbles! Bubbles, bubbles. Oh, first, we need to make a soapy bubble solution. In this big bowl, we will mix water, soap. I'm gonna put in a lot of soap, cause I like soap and I like bubbles too. Oh, and glycerin. Now, lab helpers, let me see you stir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why we wear a lab coat, it make a mess. Oh, there we go. This looks nice and soapy. <laughs> oh, have you ever wondered why bubbles move? Let's blow some bubbles to investigate. First, I'll dip the bubble wand into our soapy water, and then blow very slowly. <sighs> Lab helpers, use your special eyes and tell me what you see. <gasps> Do you see bubbles? Yes! <laughs> oh, yes! And are the bubbles moving? Yes! <gasps> yes, they are moving! Lab helpers, use your special ears and tell me what you hear. Do you hear a choo-choo train? No! Oh, no way! <laughs> what you hear is me blowing the bubbles as I blow air from my mouth. Bubbles are just soap and water holding in a little bit of air inside. Ooh, I wonder. Lab helpers, can you see the air I'm blowing to make the bubbles? No! No, you can't see the air I'm blowing, but you can see the bubbles forming and moving, so you know that the air has to be there. Oh, wow! 
I sure do love blowing bubbles. And now we know what makes bubbles form and move. It's air. <laughs> oh man, that was so fun. I say it's time to check back in with Sparky and see what other wonderful surprises are in store for us today. Remember, to check in with Sparky, we just clap and say, Sparky! Let's do it together, lab helpers. Sparky! Wow, that experiment was wonderful. The Wow Lab is always full of wonder and fun. Speaking of wonder, I have some friends who are wondering about something. Let's listen carefully and see if we can help. Hey, Sparky and Geo. My friend Molly's been wondering something for a while, and I thought you may be able to help. Yeah, I was I was wondering, um, why can't I see God? I have huge eyes that I can't see him. Have you ever wondered that? Hmm, that's a great question. Actually, I have wondered that very same thing. <gasps> Anytime I'm wondering about something and I don't know the answer, Sparky always takes me to the best book ever, the Bible! Lab helpers, get ready to hear a story from the Bible by clicking on our listening ears. Click, click! Now, let's put on our special eyes. Zoop, zoop! zoop. Sparky, we're all set. Please show us a story in the Bible that can help us with this question. The Bible is the best book ever full of wonder and truth. I have the perfect story from the Bible today. Let me introduce you to Elijah. Elijah loved God very much. God used Elijah to prove that there is only one great and wonderful God. But not everyone was happy with Elijah. In fact, the queen was very angry and wanted to hurt him. So Elijah ran away. While he was hiding, God said to Elijah, go out and stand on the mountain. I'm about to pass by. First, there was a strong wind, but God wasn't in the wind. Then there was an earthquake, but God wasn't in the earthquake. Next, there was a fire, but God wasn't in the fire. Finally, Elijah heard a quiet voice, like a whisper. When he heard it, Elijah covered his face because he knew that God was too powerful to even look at. When other people in the Bible wondered about God, he sent them signs, wonders, and even messengers to help them know what he is like. God loves when we want to know more about him. And there are so many things we can wonder about God. Like, does he eat food? What does he do all day? And does he sleep at night? The Bible has a lot of answers for us, but God is so wonderful that there's no way we can know everything about him. No wonder we call this the Wow Lab. Stories from the Bible always have me saying wow. It all makes sense now. In our experiment today, we couldn't see the air that made the bubbles or made them move, but we could see the bubbles moving. <sighs> you know, it's kind of like the wind. I can't see it, but I know it's there because I see the leaves and the kites moving in it. Just like we can't see the air and the wind, we can't see God, but we can see all that he has made. And the Bible tells us that he is always with us, just like he was with Elijah. Oh, lab helpers, it's so much fun to ask questions and wonder about things because it helps us learn more about who God is and how much he loves us. So I want you to wonder about God every day. Let me hear you say this after me. I can wonder. I can wonder. About God. About God. 
When we think about how amazing God is and the amazing things he's done, it fills us with wonder. That reminds me of a verse in the Bible that Sparky tells me all the time. Sparky, will you share that special verse with our lab helpers? You got it, Geo. This verse comes from the second book of the Bible called Exodus. It says, your glory fills me with wonder. You do amazing things. Glory is a word we use to describe how amazing God is. You know, Gio and I have a song we like to sing about this verse. Lab helpers, stand up and sing it too. Mountains and trees, your goodness never ends. You are great, and I know every day as I grow, you are my closest friend. Your glory fills me with wonder, cause you, my God, do amazing things. Your glory fills me with wonder, cause you, my God. Oceans, mountains, and trees, your goodness never ends. You are great, and I know every day as I grow, you are my closest friend. take a seat. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you came to be helpers in the WOW Lab today. We have had so much fun, but we're not finished yet. We have one more wonderful experiment to do. It's going to be colorific. Ooh, it looks like Sparky wants us to mix some of these colors to make a new color. Hmm but I wonder what color Sparky wants us to make. Lab helpers, what color do you think Sparky wants us to make? Orange. Oh, that's it. If we can answer two questions from today's lab time, we will get to mix two colors and make a brand new color. Question number one asks, did Elijah get to see God's face? The red liquid says, no. The purple liquid says, yes. And the yellow liquid says, I don't know. What do you think? Did Elijah get to see God's face? No. That's right. God is so powerful that no one can see his face. But we can hear him and know that he is always with us. Wow. OK. Question number two says, what can we read to find out more about the things we wonder about God? The red one says, a cereal box. The purple one says, a text message. And the yellow one says, the Bible. Which one do you think it is? The Bible. Wonderful! You got it. It's so fun to wonder about God, and when we want to know more about him, we can read the Bible. Lab helpers, I wonder what will happen if we mix this red liquid with this yellow liquid. Do you think it will make orange? Wow, that was 
is too wonderful for words. You did a great job remembering what we learned today and helping make a super cool new color. Oh, hi, Sparky. I think we need to share this with our friend who was wondering about God too. Hi, Molly. Today, we discovered that even though we can't see God, we can see all the things around us that he has made. Whoa, you mean I can look at my friend Tansy and see what God created? That's amazing! And, and I can look at a little squirrel or a fuzzy dog and see his creation? Wow, that's so cool! And we wanted to tell you what we've learned today. Lab helpers, say this after me. I can wonder. I can wonder. About God. About God. God. That's it. As you head out of the lab today and back to your homes, you can be filled with wonder as you see all that God has made and remember that he loves you so much. I hope you have a wonder-filled day, and I can't wait to see you back in the lab next week. Bye! <laughs>